Romeo's Daughter with I Can See Tomorrow. This is the B-side bonus track. There's only one video on YouTube. I, I couldn't look up anything for tuning and looking at live stuff. So I went with Drop D. As I was listening to it, it might even be just a half step down. But this will uh, get you in there in the song. Um, CBT for David. Um, so Drop D tuning. The first thing you hear is the open E and A. Just a power chord. It's an eight count. You'll see an eight written in your tabs under the pause line. It's, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and change. And then another eight count. So open E, A, that's a D5, and then a B flat five, one A, three D. You do that three times. Then it jumps into some um, bass and vocals and stuff. There's no guitar until 26 seconds in. You'll hear a natural harmonic 5G. And this is clean. 1, 3, A, D. And then palm mute, down, up, down. 1, 1, 1, B, E, B. And there is some delay on it. 1, 3, open, A, D, G. And that's a hold, so you want to hear all three notes. And then this really cool part. Palm mute, alternate pick. 5, 7, 5, G. And then 6, B. And then... 555 GBG. So that sounds like. And then 575G, 57D, and then 5A twice. And that whole thing is three times. One would be. Okay. Then it goes to the first one again, but it does an eight instead of a six on the B. loud it's kind of hard to hear the guitar really in the in the mix here but it's there all right um section 1c 57 seconds in this is distorted just on the two power chords the d5 it's just a three count it's a dotted half note and then clean channel five seven open a d g and move it over to one three open back to five seven open 7D slide, 1, 3, open, A, D, G. That's that section. Pretty straightforward there. Section 1D, 114 timestamp, also clean. 1, 3, open, A, D, G. 3, 3, open. And you do that twice. And then 5E, 3, open, D, G. All right, top of page 3. Minute 36, section 2A, three on the top three strings, and then open G. So hold, you should hear all four notes when you're done. Oops, try it again. Um, hold on, lost my spot. And then again. And then same thing with the second fret on the low E. Actually, let's do that one again. This one goes. So after that pause, do the D and G string, three and open. Um, 1A, 3D, 1A, 2G. Rest. And then go D, A, D, and that'll be twice. Fourth fret barred from the A string down, and add a 6G and a 6D in there. And this will go A, B, G, B, rest. Oops, yeah. Rest and then G D G two times. Um, two minutes in, repeat section one A four times, and then the clean channel at three oh seven does uh, palm mute alternate pick five seven G um, and then seven five D G. So and then five seven D eight five A D seven five E A. So that sounds like this. That part is four times consecutive. Oops. Oops. But it'll be four of those. 323 timestamp, section 2A, twice. And then 409, some more clean stuff. 1334, A through B. And that's a B flat suspended. Rest. And then 
G, D, G. Fifth fret E, fourth fret D, fifth fret A, third fret G. Kind of a tough one. Oops. And then rest D, A, D. Um, five, 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 five. Just bar it from the E down to the G. Third fret A, fifth fret D, fifth fret A, fifth fret G. Oops. I'm sorry. Three A, five D, three A, five G. Correction time. Okay. Alrighty, and then the solo at four twenty going to be distorted and 12b bend vibrato 12 11 slide 7 and then pick 6g 9b bend vibrato so it's 97b 6 hammer 7 on the B and then 6 B G D. That sounds like this. Cool little run. Top of page 4, 4 D slide 6. And then go 4 3 4 slide 6 G vibrato. So 6 E pick hammer 7 pull 6. And then 7B, 6G. Let me slow that down. Make sure you bring the index up on that. Keep it all individual. Um, 6, 8, down up on the G. And then down 7B, slide 9. And then 7 vibrato. 1, 3G, pinch 2B. And then 6 4 on the D. And then 6 pull 4, 4 A vibrato rest slide. So it's 2 hammer 4 A. And then 2 4 D A two and a half times. Sounds like this. 441 timestamp. You got this little riff. 2, um, two G slide to 4. 2 5 B. Bend, kill, and then pick. So, oops. And that's the end of the solo. Section 2B is clean at 443. I think this is a modulation, a key change, and the chords get really weird here. And this is what I'm thinking. The tuning probably wasn't right, but fifth fret E, A, D, and then a 2G. It's tough. And then rest D, A, D again. You gotta sit right to do this one. Then, so you do two of those, and then four E five five A two G rest D A D, and then go to. Um, 3A, 5D, 3A, 4G. Rest, D, A, D again. And then bar the 6th fret, A string all the way down, 8D and 8G. And go A, D, A, B. Rest, G, D, G. And then 5, 7, 5, A, D, A. And then 5, B, rest. And then 7, on GDG after that. Section 2C 529. I think this is another modulation. It is. 6 on the EAE. And then AD rest. Lift it off and go 6 DAD. Twice. And then go 5 6 5 EAE with an 8D rest. A, E, A. Okay. 
top of page 5. 4A, 6D, 4A, 5B, or 5G. Sounds like this. Rest, and then D, A, D, twice. 2D, 4G, 2D, 5B, rest. And then go 4G, and then 2nd fret D, 4th fret G, twice. And then repeat section 2C until the song fades out. All right, there you go. Have fun with it. It's not a huge guitar dominant song, but I noticed the, this is not the first time you've had me do that. So it's a little bit different. It's cool. I like it. Thanks, man.